We had text message conversations with each other. Um, Gauti read the whole chapter and Kohli is driving a culture of fitness within this Indian team. I would say the, the front runners are obviously England, India, Australia. Gotham Gambia, and I stated very clearly in the book, is one of the most determined and at the time was the most successful test batsman in the world. That's why he got the ICC Test Cricket of the World. When he got that award in his interview, he said, this does nothing to overcome my insecurities. I still have them. And the, well, the point I was wanting to make in the book is that every single human being has vulnerabilities, has doubts, has insecurities, and has negative thoughts. The point I was wanting to make is that is not bad. You don't have to get rid of those. You can still get to the top of the world with those oh-so-human qualities. And I use Gambia as the example. He had those things, and he also got to the pinnacle of world cricket. And I really acknowledge him for being able to get there. We had text message conversations with each other. Um, Gauti read the whole chapter and he saw that I wasn't saying anything that hadn't already been said in public. And I was lauding him as, you know, the most determined and best batsman in the world. And I still think he is. Firstly, it was really exciting to have Steve Smith, one, coming back into cricket because he's such an asset to the world game and really exciting to have him come back into the Rajasthan Royals, both as probably one of the best T20 captains that I've seen, as well as at the time, you know, bef before the Newlands incident, him and Virat Kohli were the two best batsmen in the world. So it was really about creating an environment that, that really welcomed him back uh, really embraced him and really gave him everything that he needed to do to find his feet back in the Royals, back into international cricket. Certainly physically, this current Indian team is physically fitter than any other Indian team preceding it. The real difference is you've got Kohli is driving a culture of fitness within this Indian team and even I'm seeing it now in the IPL, even in Indian cricket, there's more of a culture and it's Kohli really who's helping drive that. India do have their high pressure experts, certainly in Kohli and Dhoni with a bat. Um, other teams also have got two or three, so there's probably an equal balance. India's not behind anyone, they're not significantly ahead of the other top teams. Vera Kohli will come back into captaining the national team as he has before, and he was leading a very, very successful team. And again, he's got all his, his own players, he doesn't have foreign players, he doesn't have young players who are not at an international level. He's back with the team that he knows very well, who knows him very well, and I think he'll slot straight back into that to lead this team into this World Cup. Almost all of the players at the World Cup would have had a number of experiences of how you need to manage yourself in a long and busy tournament to still have mental and emotional energy towards the end. And some of that means between games it's getting away from cricket, it's not over practicing, it's not overthinking the games, particularly in the round robin phase. It's to play the game and then get away from it and then get up for the next game and when that game's finished, whether you win or lose, get away from the game refresh, get your mind off it, go and do something else and just keep doing it that and then when you get to the finals that's when your head is in the game literally every moment of every day but you wait till the end of the tournament to get to that level of intensity moment to moment day by day intensity. I would say the, the front runners are obviously England, India, Australia and then the fourth position will probably be fought out between South Africa, 
Pakistan have often been the dark horse or they, they, they managed to find a way in these World Cups. Uh, and New Zealand also, they've just got that, that underdog fighting spirit that always gives them a half a chance of making the semi-finals.